Welcome cuties, let's create! Today I want to introduce you to a character that I have for a book idea um, that I have kind of started but haven't um, f gone full-fledged, you know, actually, you know, I have only written maybe a page or two. Um, but the premise of the idea is it's a demon high, so a demon high school and all of the uh, the students there there are certain demons and their parents may be even um, famous ones so for example um, the main character he is going to be the son of the devil <laughs> and then um, the character that i'm drawing right now he's the son of the grim reaper and you know, sometimes we're not exactly the same people as our parents, you know, we, we have our own personalities. And so even though we do get, you know, a lot of our traits from our parents and the way we, we behave, we, you know, we are what we learn. And but anyway, in this circumstance, I am painting the son of the Grim Reaper and he his nickname is Grim. And he is totally opposite of his dad. He is very loud and he's like kind of like in your face of like just so excited and he's a little on the punk side. Um, I picture him being really muscly. Um, he loves to work out. He loves I don't really picture him going skating, but I do picture him having a mohawk and particularly having like an electric blue mohawk. So like very in your face, which is kind of opposite of the Grim Reaper. The Grim Reaper is really quiet and black and dark where he is kind of opposite of his dad. He's, you know, excited and loud and... He's got bright colors, even though he does like to wear, you know, dark clothes, but his hair, he likes to have really bright and colorful. So that is who I am drawing today. And I also picture him having a lot of piercings, um, just in his, on his ears, nowhere else, um, wearing a lot of, um, jewelry. So he has, you know, a couple of necklaces that I draw, um, but yeah, this is Grim, and um, he's kind of the fun one, you know, because you always, when you have, when you're writing stories, you have to have, you know, the certain characteristics, um, you have to have, you know, kind of the sidekicks that go along with the main characters, and so he is definitely, I would say, one of the side characters, he is a sidekick, um, not in like the sense of they're fighting crime, but the thing that the challenge that they have is not everyone who is going to school, because obviously they're going to school to learn how to be successful demons, but not all of them want to be demons. Not all of them want to be as evil as their parents are. And so that's kind of the some of the dilemmas that they will face. Um, and mostly, you know, the main character who is um, the devil's son. He doesn't want, he doesn't want to be the devil, you know, because who would, who would want to be the devil? So um, that's kind of the premise of what this book is going to be about. And I really need to get to writing it. I, I know that graphic novels take a long time and they're very hard, but I would love for this to be a graphic novel. Um, I think they're really fun to read. You know, they have the kind of comic book style. Um, and I just, I, yeah, I just think it would be fun, but I know it would take forever to try and draw all of them, you know, all the pictures and like you know, I'm not very good at drawing backgrounds, and so that's something that I would have to learn um, as I go along. But anyway, I, again, I don't like to show me just outlining it and doing the 
oh, I can't think of what it's called, but where you darken the lines. Um, I don't really like to show that part because it's kind of boring because you kind of see what it looks like as I'm sketching. So I kind of always skip that part and just go straight into coloring. Um, so I do picture him with light skin and um, I, I really like the way that he turned out. I'll have to um, post a picture because I actually drew him maybe two years ago and I drew him digitally because, you know, I do. I want to get better digitally. But, um, and so I drew him a couple years ago and he, you can tell that they're maybe the, you know, brothers, but <laughs> they're supposed to be the same person. And I just can see a big difference in my drawing style. I feel like I have gotten a lot better. You know, I was able to really capture how big his muscles are and how big his arms are. Um, in this picture where the other one, he looked really skinny and really lanky. So I'm really glad that I was able to capture how buff he is. Um, because in the other one that I digitally drew, he does not look that way. So I'm really excited that this, he looks exactly how I pictured him to be. Um, so something that I've noticed that I'm really struggling with is getting a full flat toned color with the skin tone and in some spots like the arms like I thought it would be good to kind of have the lighter part but it's hard because when you go over it so many times it keeps darkening it and you know so it's a challenge but I really really like the way that he turned out I think so what I did in this part is I give him light blue because that's going to be the highlight so I decided to just go ahead and color the whole hair light blue um, and then later I go in with the dark the darker kind of more electric blue because that is um, that's what his hair color is but this is the highlight because you know you have the sun shining down and hitting it and there are other highlights that are you know are lighter so that's why I do that um but I really think he turned out well I one thing I forgot to do was shade his t-shirt or his tank top and so I ended up shading that a little later um so it's not in this video but I did do it in real life <laughs> so here I am like I said I'm going in with the darker blue and kind of giving more of that um, the real color of what the hair is I don't really want to say shadows because it's not the shadows of his hair it's just like the actual color of his hair and so I just, oh, I think he looks so cool, and I just, I, he's just, I just, I really like him. I think he's really cool, and I really hope that I captured his essence in this photograph, because it's one thing that you can, you know, picture in your mind, and then it's difficult to try and portray that through even, you know, movie or, you know, books, and it's hard to portray the characters that you have in your mind to try and describe them of who they really are. And it was funny, I showed my husband, and he's like, wow, all your characters have really bright hair. <laughs> and I'm like, no, yeah, I mean, if you read, um, my seven deadly friends they all have you know very bright colorful hair and so here i do i have another bright colorful hair um person but i they are not all colorful okay just just some just some because you gotta have some colorful people in the world right you gotta mix it up and have fun so um like, I don't picture the main character having such bright hair. I picture, you know, maybe black or brown or, you know, whatever. Um, so, no, they don't all have bright hair. But um, I really like Grimm, and I think he's really cool. And um, 
yeah, let me know what you think and let me know if, you know, what kind of characters you would like to see of, you know, would you like to see maybe Medusa's child or, you know, just let me know and please write in the comments and don't forget to like this video if you like to see me drawing different characters that I have imagined or created or written about. Um, so please give a thumbs up. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, ring the bell for notifications, leave a like and a comment. Until next time, keep creating.